I've been feeling the pinch of rising prices at the grocery store for a while now, and that is why I like to buy whole chicken because it saves me a ton of money. I bought these two whole chickens for only $12, and I bought these three chicken breasts for $12. That means buying whole is like buying the breasts, plus a little bit more and getting the rest for free. So I'm gonna show you how to break down these cuts and it's super easy to do. The chickens come in different shapes and sizes and that means when you buy one, you can probably find one that has the right proportion of the meat that you want. So if you'd like thighs of thunder, you can find one with bigger thighs or if you're really big on the lean meat that comes from the breast, you can find one that's proportionally different there as well. And really the only tool that you need is a good knife. This is a boning knife from Victorinox. I really like it and it works great for a lot of different things including breaking down a brisket and these chickens. It's pretty versatile. So one of the first things to look at in the chickens is often they're gonna come with things on the inside. You're gonna have either the giblets, so the kidneys, the heart, things like that, as well as the neck is often in there. You wanna remove that before you do any of the other breakdown. In breaking down the chicken, there's a couple of different ways to do it, but I always like to do the thighs first. I find that it makes it just a little bit easier to do the rest once you get those out of the way. All you have to do is cut right here between the breast and the thigh. There's this big open cavity that doesn't have anything in it. And so you're not worried about cutting anything you didn't mean to. And that makes it so that way you can get right into the thighs. After that, you flip it over. And by putting just a little bit of pressure right here on the joint, we can give it a push and that's gonna break that joint free. And what that does, now you can see that the joint is nice and free. We're not gonna catch that on our knife. So it's gonna be a lot easier to go through. And one of the things that people miss as they're cutting the thigh off is there's this big chunk of meat right here. Some people call it the oyster. So you have to go deep over into the back while you're doing that to make sure that you catch it. Then push that joint back over and we can cut right in between the bones and then just straight down towards the back. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. You can take it, put a little bit of pressure on that joint so it pops it loose. So you can see it's nice and free. I'm gonna cut right around here. Don't forget the oyster. And then when you get past the joint, you can just go straight down. When it comes to removing the breast, there's two ways of doing it. You can either have them bone in or boneless. Most people prefer boneless, both on the grill and on the skillet, but I'm still gonna show you both ways. For boneless chicken breasts, I always feel for the sternum right here. You know that the breasts are on each side, so you wanna cut just barely to the side of that in order to be able to remove it. So we get through the skin, you can sort of see it, and we're just gonna do some shallow cuts here at first until it goes all the way down to the rib cage. Then right over here above the wing, you wanna cut in, and that'll help to free it up. Now we just have to connect the two cuts right here. So you stick your knife in, go straight to the back, cut it loose, and then do short, easy ones back towards the front. Got the first one free, flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. Feel for that bone. Notice it's about a quarter inch over from where you cut the other side. Just going straight down and from the front all the way to the back. Then go over here to the side just above the wing. Do a horizontal cut as deep as we can. And then we just have to connect the two and it comes out nice and easy. And you're gonna notice there's still quite a bit of meat on here, but we're gonna use that a little bit later. You aren't gonna be able to get it perfectly trimmed every single time. There's always gonna be a little bit of meat left on the chicken. For the second method, if I wanna have bone-in chicken breast, you need a little bit bigger knife. This one has some heft to it, and that makes it a lot easier to guide through. So I go and put it on end, with the top part of it down, and then we can cut right in between. Here's the backbone and the rest of it, and you can see where the rib cage goes. We're gonna cut just below the breast. We're gonna end up breaking through some of these bones in order to be able to do it. And then if we push down a little bit, you can see where it breaks the joints where the wings are. We're gonna remove those about at the same time. But for right now, we're gonna keep it on just by removing the back. This part can be a little bit gross. It takes a good whack to be able to cut through those bones. When it comes to the wings, they're gonna come off a lot like the thighs do where we're gonna end up breaking the joint. You can see there's just a little bit of cartilage in here. And so one quick slice, and now that pop the joint open and we can see exactly what we're working with. Come over to the other side and we're just gonna do a cut all the way around. And then we're gonna be able to break it loose. That popped the bone free, so you don't have to 
brush your knife up against it. And now we've got a whole wing. And you can cut these tips off and use it in the stock that we're gonna make later, or you can leave them on. It's really up to you. So after just a few minutes of work, I've got a whole chicken broken down. I've got two breasts, two wings, and two thighs, which gives me a variety of meals throughout the week. And we're still not done yet. We're gonna take the leftovers, all the pieces that we still left on the carcass, and we're gonna make an amazing stock. Doing a chicken stock is about the easiest thing that you can do when butchering a chicken. You could just take these pieces whole and put it in the pot of water along with all the kidneys, the giblets, and things that we found in the neck bones, but I found that it goes a little bit faster if we break them down just a little bit. In that case, that's where the heavy knife comes in, either a butcher knife or like the one that I'm using. You can just break them up, it comes apart really easy, and those pieces are going to break down into beautiful soup a lot faster. And just put it on the stove. I'm gonna set this to low, so that way it simmers, and we're gonna leave it for about five or six hours. You do need to watch it a little bit just to make sure that you don't run out of water, but other than that, it's pretty hands-off. So what do you do with that chicken stock once it's done? Well, I gave it to Mrs. GTE, and she made up an amazing chicken pot pie with some of the chicken that we had left over, as well as that stock really knocked it out of the park. I weighed the chicken and then calculated how much it would have cost to buy the individual pieces at the grocery store, and it came to just over $24. We only spent $12 on the two whole chickens, which means we saved a ton of money, or we got twice as much meat, depending on your perspective, and it only took a few minutes of work. When you're done butchering that chicken, you're gonna wanna cook it well, and if you like thighs of thunder or juicy chicken breasts, I've got the perfect video for you to get awesome results.